the wrong side of the red. He's going to have to Ten. play a delicate little shot if he's going to hold for the black here. It's a funny little okay. screw shot that just to screw it across to leave the black in the same pocket. Yeah, I was just wondering, Dennis, if he could just roll it through and bounce off the the bottom cushion and still be on the black. Might in be the able, same pocket as might, the red. Might be able to do that, John. I'd prefer that to the the soft screw. At least you can push the cue through better. That's the shot you mentioned. I don't know if the angle's there for that. It just depends. He's right behind the shot. He could cannon the two reds there and still finish on it. He's held it, but he's held it too much. 11. He was worried about overdoing it, and he's underscrewed it. Yes, there's a bit more than a snooker match going on here. It's battling with your emotions. There's a lot of pressure out there. As we saw when Ronnie missed the pink. This is tough. What a shot. What a shot that is. He's got a right to the middle pocket. That is one of the bravest 18. shots you could ever wish to see under the circumstances. And he has a red to the left middle, and he can get on the blue. Nineteen. Oh, he just can't get that cue ball under inch perfect control at the moment. Just wondering, John, if the two reds are a plant, what a bonus that could be. Oh, and they are. They are, they're dead set. Well, that is a bonus and a big one. No problem for the next red now. Almost touching the red, so he can't do too much with the cue ball. Otherwise, 24. he would squeeze the second ball away from the pocket, as you can see there. But hit it dead straight, more or less. 25. He may have to play a little cannon here, but it could turn out perfect. He's got a choice. If he rolls the black and cannons that middle red of the th three, he'd be absolutely perfect. Doesn't have to do it, but it would be perfect. Thirty-two. A full ball contact on that would have been better. He's still okay. Thirty-three. Very little to do with the next shot, but he's close to the cushion. He's just got to make sure that he drops the blue in. There's three reds awaiting, and Ronnie, well, what an unbelievable comeback he's made in this semi-final. But is there more drama to unfold? I can safely say, John, this is one of the finest matches I've ever watched. Yes, he's had everything. Great play, controversial frame, and then all of a sudden it got to both players, I believe. And Ron Ronnie O'Sullivan has just shown such tremendous character to hang on in there. But will it all be in vain? That's not the best positional shot for John Higgins. Now, unless he decides to push the bolt out here. I mean, normally you'd think, well, maybe he could play the green, but the yellow on that port cushion just makes that all green. And the blue is difficult. He's made his mind up, John. He's going for the green. He's in a determined mood, but this is far from easy. 
That's brilliant. That is brilliant. Does this red go, though? 42. It does, clearly. Great shot. So brave. Well, when you say so brave, brave heart from a Scot would have to be, wouldn't it? But this was super. It really was. Thirty-eight, the difference. He's going to need one of the difficult reds because that red doesn't pass the pink. What sort 48. of angle has he got on this red? That's the angle. He's just looking to see if he could drop on the black and then develop one of the reds that he's going to need. Uh, this is the key to John Higgins's path into the final. He's unlucky. I don't think he 56. can play a pot here. At first glance, I thought, could he put one in off the other? Or can he get in behind the pink? It couldn't have finished much more awkward here. 46 points to lead. He's only looking for one more red. Tom Higgins, 56. I think that was a superb shot. And it looks for all the agonies that John Higgins has gone through, he's managed to pull himself together from somewhere. He's dug so deep. And now, if Ronnie doesn't get this safe, John Higgins will be in the final. He's hit it, Ronnie, but it's not going to be safe. <laughs> well, it ran on a fraction more than I thought, but John Higgins just needs the red. Surely he's going to go for it. Do you know, Dennis, Ray Reardon once said to me, when I was our term pro, he said, there's more to snooker than potting balls. And I think we've witnessed that tonight from both players. This for a place in the final. <laughs> One. Well, Ronnie O'Sullivan, I take my hat off to you. What a tremendous comeback you made. Missed the pink in this frame. That's what's cost you. But every credit to John Higgins. He looked down and out, he looked beat, but he somehow. Well, the match. Did, 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 did. And John Higgins.